Hello there guys and welcome to this part of the color correction series. Um, today I'm talking about something that's been um, widely popular um, recently. Well, it's always been kind of popular. But um, it's called the bleach, pie pa or bleach bypass look. Um, it's commonly referred to as uh, the filmic look. Um, it adds pretty much um, putting digital uh, onto film. And it kind of you know creates that illusion of um, film. So pretty much you can take something like a clip like this, you know, pretty plain, very, you know, just normal, and turn it into something more like this, where it's just kind of all dark and desaturated. Um, this is great for, you know, kind of like, um, again, with that sort of war movie feel. Um, it's just kind of dark, kind of creepy. Um, that was my phone again. <laughs> really just um, sort of that sort of stuff. So I'm going to take you on through a tutorial like that. And so let's jump in. First off, I'm just going to um, delete all this and start with a cl uh, clean slate. So first thing we want to do is we want to click this um, clip and come up here to effects, video filters, color correction, and of course, color corrector. Then we're going to bring down the color um, copy and paste that clip before we do anything with the color correction. And then um, once we do that, we're going to take the copy and put it right on top of the original. Now, if you copy on a uh, video layer 2, let's um, bring down the saturation all the way to nothing. Then, um, still selected on the video layer 2. Shut up, phone. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Come up here to modify, composite mode, and then overlay. Now, already we can see there's a big contrast here. Like, you know, all the green on the leaves and then the black. So, blacks really um, start to seep in. Now, if you um, this is you know pretty much a starting point for us. This isn't this isn't like anything like what it's finally gonna be. So um, let's click the video layer one clip, come up here to color correction, and now let's lower the saturation to where you personally want it. Um, there's no you know obviously there's no desirable preset like that has to be done. Just kind of whatever you guys want to do. And so now let's raise up the blacks a little bit. And um, if we see here, like come back here to the clip of the face. You can kind of see start of the um, some of the details start to come in as we raise up the black some more. Um, I think we might have too much of the whites, so I'm gonna bring down the whites. Um, the mids look pretty good. You know, we can adjust it to see you know what difference it makes. You know, that makes it brighter. That makes it darker. I want to go much darker. I might actually go a little bit brighter. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Um. Something um, that you guys don't have to do, but I kind of think is um, adds a pretty nice layer, especially if you're working in Final Cut Pro. Um, if you guys have the uh, dark, if you guys are on the three-way color correction or color corrector, and you have um, the ability to take control over the darks, I recommend changing that to a little bit more of a blue. Um, but this is, you know, just totally optional. In fact, all of this, all of these steps are optional. Just kind of, you know, whatever you guys want to do. It's your film. You make it your way. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a Burger King commercial or something. I don't know. Okay. I'm done talking about random stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much how you create the effect. Um, again, if you guys want to check out more of these color correction tutorials, click that top left button to get back to the main screen. And um, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. And please subscribe. And I will see you guys um, in the future. So, ta-ta for now.